Fancy Fuzzine. In today's video, I'm going to do a makeup play date with one of the new palettes that I got. I, I don't know why, felt like I should treat myself for one nice thing, and I ended up getting four palettes. They're all from Ace Beauty. Hey. Uh, they are cruelty free van. And we have Vintage Dawn, which looks like this. And then we have Scarlet Dusk which is this gorgeous red tone palette. Gorgeous. And we have the Flare palette, which looks like this beauty right here, which I am loving all of it. And lastly, we have the Oceanic palette, which is their blue and green story, which if you have been following my Instagram feed, this is like some of my favorite looks are with blues and greens. I don't know why. I just love them. So I think I'm going to start off with this palette because weirdly enough, it's the one that I'm actually the most excited for. Though, this is my grunge dreams. This is probably my, the one that I normally would go for like on an everyday basis. And then this one is also something I would just... They're all something I go for on an everyday basis, let's be honest. But this is definitely something I go with when I go for Instagram or when I'm just doing my makeup in general for some fun, not getting ready for work. So I had the rest of my face done, but let's jump in and have a little bit of a play date with this palette right here. I need to get an actual like monitor so I can see what is being recorded so I can one, tell when it stops recording, and two, so I can zoom you guys back in because I can't see and there's no real easy way of me zooming in on this distance. I will try, but I highly doubt it's going to be good. But let me try zooming you guys in and we will start playing with the Oceanic palette from Ace Boutte. You guys are kind of zoomed in, so let's get into this palette. I think I am, I have a color switch out and I cleaned my brushes beforehand. So they should be all good. They are, however, stained because it's kind of in between washings. So, but it shouldn't, at least on my arm here, nothing's coming off on the brushes. I think it hasn't cleaned enough for now. Um, I'm thinking about going with the green shades at the moment. So I'm going to start off with Aldi, which is this beautiful lime green shade right here. That's very pigmented. I'm not going to tap off right now just because I want to see the full pigment. And I do have um, tart shape tape on my eyes. Though it is kind of... creasage. But this... We'll just kind of start with padding. Ooh. Pretty. Kind of tilting my head up as well. If I'm terrible at filming like this, I'm sorry, I have not tried doing this since I had a, a monitor zooming in, so it might be slightly off, and I apologize. I already know what I'm putting in the waterline. That, either I have a really big brush or that was super easy just to quickly do that. And that's like two taps in the pan. Again, two taps. Let's see how it worked out we can get it. I think just two more taps in there. Should be just about what I did in the other eye. I'm sorry, again, if I'm blocking my face, I'm trying very hard not to. Yeah, it looks pretty gosh darn even. And I know which highlighter I'm going to grab to do inner and outer corner, and brow bone and inner corner. Because it is not, more really just because I think it would go really well with it. And that's Black Moon Cosmetics um, Moonlighter in Glow Worm, which is green. I'm going to use that later. Someone's doing something in my apartment building. I can hear their water going near mine. Alright. 
So next, I think I'm going to go in with Seagrass, which is this shade right here. Alright, editing me here. Um, I realized I apparently didn't film an entire section of the video where I did Seagrass in the crease and then used Turtle to kind of start creating a halo effect. And then I started telling a story while I was using Turtle about turtles that I had in the past. So it's going to jump into after the turtles, one turtle has already died. So basically, I'm just gonna tell you what it is real quick. So I got two turtles um, that I basically adopted off of online or bought off online. Terrible practice, don't do it. Get it from reputable breeders, that type of stuff. I did not, I was a child, I did not pay attention. I was like nine or 10. <laughs> so that example for me. Um, I took care of them. I had two girls, Wa Wild Thing and Wacko. Wacko gets renamed to Wa oh, Sammy later. Wild Thing died after um, I went to a vet to learn how to actually take care of turtles because I didn't know how at a 9, 10 year old and my parents couldn't stop me because I had bought the turtles online and then they we went to the vet. They told me I was keeping them in way too small of a container. I got them a bigger tank, set it up correctly with the UV light and heat pad. Um, wrong heat pad, wrong UV light, wrong, just wrong everything. Wild Thing ends up dying, and then I think this is where the rest of the story comes in. So that's kind of to catch you up on what kind of got lost in that thing. I'm so sorry. I was trying to, uh, skip, my camera stops recording after 20 minutes, so I generally try to hit pause in between shades, and I apparently didn't hit record when I thought I did. So that was my fault. I'm sorry. Back to the video. Um, so I went and got a second, a, a third turtle technique. Wacko is now Sammy at this point. So I took, got another one from the same place, same breeders that were online. Because you couldn't really get them in the store where I lived. Like no one had sliders available and I really wanted a slider in the worst way. I think they're absolutely adorable. I still think they're absolutely adorable. Red your sliders. I might one day get another right hair slider and take care of it the right way. <laughs> but um, I did like everything I could for those guys once I started learning and I had talked to like a specialist. Um, so I got another turtle, this was Squirt. And Squirt, unfortunately, I think was already sick before he came to me. He, he didn't last long. Sammy was still fine. So then I just had Sammy. And I decided just to keep the one turtle I think Squirt died while I was out of town and my neighbor was watching. Uh, going with algae, that first shade that we used on the same brush. Um, my neighbor took care of um, Sammy and Squirt while I was gone. I think the light bulb died or something. Something happened and while we were gone and Squirt died. So I had Sammy. And then Sammy lived for another year and a half, I want to say, after that. They never got to full grown turtles. Um, no matter what I did after, um, like in the end for Sammy, um, the heat pads just would not live. Like they all just kept dying on me. I couldn't keep it warm enough. I was devastated that Sammy unfortunately passed away. And then my parents were like, Allie, you, May, you can't have any more turtles. You have not had three turtles. It is time to be done with the turtles. And I was like, fine, I'll be done with turtles. I really didn't want it. And I tried to convince them to get Mission Chill and they never did. Anyways, that was the long rant about me and turtles. <laughs> After using the shade Turtle. <laughs> um, I'm going to put a little concealer there to get a kind of a wet base. I may have just used what I have kind of as this thing next to me, which is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. I almost never use this one. I'm trying to find a uh, brush to cut this kind of halo ish thing with me. Yeah. So that was the time I had turtles. I would get turtles again. I also really want to get chinchillas. I have done research on chinchillas, like to no end. My mom would never let me get chinchilla um, growing up because they're technically rodents and she hates rodents of every type. 
so she never would let me get a turtle, a, a chinchilla, or I didn't really ever want a rat or a ferret. I think ferrets are cool. They're like little noodles. They're hilarious little noodles. Never had an interest in owning a, a ferret though. Chinchillas. Oh hell yeah. I, I would definitely get a chinchilla. I almost got a chinchilla like two or three years ago. And then I didn't. I think my roommate got mad at me. <laughs> Or something and I decided not to get one after that like after that cause she's like I don't remember what it was it was something that happened and I like we got in a fight and I was like okay fine I won't get a chinchilla I don't know why I was gonna go for a chinchilla anyways it wasn't like I had a lot of money at the time all right next let's go in I want Mykonos Mykonos is cute I think jellyfish I got the jellies just dropping everything over here it's going great Alright, we're gonna go with jellyfish. I'm loading up my brush, which is a Morphe brush, with jellyfish. We're gonna try it dry first. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna wet the brush. Which almost never the talents work dry. Yeah. It's coming off, but it's it's not like crazy metallic, which wetting the brush always works. Yep. Just helps if you then have product and you brush. Normally I only know what the brush wants because I overdo it. It just works the whole time after. Perfect. This is like very metallic. I'm liking it a lot. This is jellyfish. If I forgot to mention what I was using from the Oceanic palette. What other Oceanic stories could I tell while I'm doing my eyes with the Oceanic palette? Um, let's see here. Ooh, let me tell a story of when I went to Hawaii in seventh grade. Um, my family for Christmas decided to go to Hawaii and two of the things that we did while we were there was we took a submarine ride tour which was beyond cool we got us in the front row and it was just absolutely incredible to see all of the wildlife and then i think the day after that was a beach day and the day after that me and my sister went swimming with dolphins which if I had the pictures, I will flash um, both of those items up on the screen. Because I do have those pictures from Hawaii. I would love to do that again. Go to Hawaii. I think I would went do like the main touristy island part again. Mainly because my dad made sure while we were in Hawaii that we did everything that was touristy. I'm going to go in now with um, al alimony. I think is how you pronounce that. Which is kind of more of a, like a huntery green, which should help blend a little bit on this outer edge here. Yeah. Um, so we swim with dolphins, and that was really cool. Again, I would go to Hawaii in a heartbeat again for vacation. But not the touristy stuff, because I already did all that. But I would still go back there just to do, just to see other things and to chill on the beach because my next vacation I just really want a beach vacation. Like not like a touristy, not like doing anything, literally just on a beach. I just want to be on a beach somewhere. Uh, I'm going to get back in with some more turtle on my angle brush and just work in the halo. Work the halo back in, because that's what we're kind of going for here. Yeah. Now I really want to go somewhere, somewhere else. That'd be cool. I've never gone scuba diving. I've been in a submarine. I have swam with dolphins. 
I have never snorkeled, and I have never gone scuba diving, and I have never gone surfing, but I'm a little too scared to ever do surfing. <laughs> I'm uncoordinated as all hell. So I have a feeling if I ever went surfing, I would literally just kill myself by being so uncoordinated. So I don't think I ever do surfing, but I would scuba dive. All right, I'm gonna take uh, the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Electric Daisy for my water water line. I'm gonna do liner. NYX Epic Ink Liner, what I normally use. Alright, I'm going to go do lashes and mascara off the screen, and I'll be right back. Alright, and here's the finished product of using the Ace Beauté Oceanic Palette. <laughs> Hope you guys like my random, randomly, ramblings <laughs> on turtles. <laughs> After I started using the shade Turtle. <laughs> yeah, that's this palette. I'm going to do a few more looks of this over on my blog. I'll probably do a three looks on palette using this one. And then kind of move on to the others. If you guys want videos on the other palettes, let me know in the comments down below. Or anything else that you want to see on this ch channel. Uh, I'm going to be introducing some variety. I already started doing that during Christmas, but I'm going to add some more. I'm now talking with my Morphe setting spray. I just have that down. Okay. Anyways, hope you guys all liked the video. If you did, give this video a big old pause up. Subscribe to the Howl Pack, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!